911. What's the location of the emergency? Sandy Hook School. I think there's somebody that's shooting in here. Sandy Hook School. Okay, what makes you think that? Because somebody's got a gun. I saw a glimpse of somebody. They're running down the hallway. Okay. Well, they're still running. They're still shooting. We've endured too many of these tragedies in the past few years. And each time I learn the news, I react not as a president, but as anybody else would, as a parent. And that was especially true today. The majority of those who died were children, beautiful little kids between the ages of five and 10 years old. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. So our hearts are broken today for the parents and grandparents, sisters and brothers of these little children, and for the families of the adults who were lost. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. All of us need to demand a Congress brave enough to stand up to the gun lobby's lies, all of us need to stand up and protect its citizens. All of us need to demand governors and legislators and businesses do their part to make our community safer. The yeas are 54, the nays are 46. The amendment is not agreed to. A few minutes ago, a minority in the United States Senate decided it wasn't worth it. They blocked common sense gun reforms even while these families looked on from the Senate gallery. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. I've been watching what's going on, lots of bad things happening. It's just not the same, and we're going to bring it back, and we're going to bring it back to a real place where we don't have to be so frightened, where we don't have to be so afraid. And you know what's happening in the schools, and you know what's happening everywhere. We're going to bring it back, and you folks are going to be so happy, and you're going to be so proud of your country again. Just remember. Breaking news, a heartbreaking day in Florida, and sadly, an all-too-familiar one. 17 people are now confirmed dead after police say that a shooter, believed to be just 19 years old, opened fire at his former high school. This happens nowhere else other than the United States of America. This epidemic of mass slaughter, this scourge of school shooting after school shooting, it only happens here not because of coincidence, not because of bad luck, but as a consequence of our inaction. We are responsible. It doesn't make sense. Fix it. Should have been one school shooting, and we should have fixed it. And I'm pissed, because my daughter I'm not going to see again. She's not here. She's not here. do not decrease gun violence. We call BS. They say a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. We call BS. They say guns are just tools like knives and are as dangerous as cars. We call BS. They say that no laws could have been able to prevent the hundreds of senseless tragedies that have occurred. We call BS that us kids don't know what we're talking about, that we're too young to understand how the government works. We call BS. I will not let you down. Remember that. I will not let you down.
the whole gun control thing, this is not the time and the place to be having that conversation. I don't want to do this gun control discussion right now. There's a day, place, and a time for all that. Let's wait and have that conversation later. This is not the time to have the discussion. This is a conversation that we will have, but today is not the day. Now might not be the time to talk about gun control. Here's the time to talk about gun control. March 24th, we are going to have so many people in Washington, D.C. So many cities have created their own branch of March for Our Lives. They've all been reaching out to us. They've all been not reaching out to us and taking it into their own hands. It's amazing the universal support we've gotten. This isn't red and blue. This isn't generation versus generation. This is the 97% of people who believe that we need to take steps here together. Good afternoon to the leaders, skeptics, and cynics who told us to sit down and stay silent. Wait your turn. Welcome to the revolution. There will be no faltering, no pauses in our cause. Every moment will be dedicated to those pieces of legislation. Every march, every meeting, every moment. We know that to only focus on school safety instead of American safety is to dismiss the thousands of tragedies in between the massacres. If there is a book that you want to read but it hasn't been written yet, you must be the one to write it. I urge everyone here and everyone who hears my voice to join me in telling the stories that aren't told. We will not stop until every man, every woman, every child, and every American can live without fear of gun violence, and to that I say, no more. Thank you, I love you all, God bless all of you, and God bless America. We can and we will change the world. A growing number of companies are breaking up with the NRA because their customers demand it, using social media to voice their outrage. Symantec, MetLife, multiple car rental agencies, all ending their relationship with the NRA. before it's someone else's job.